to the first Magic Online Championship Series recap. I'm Rashad Miller and I'll be going over the highlights of the Season 7 Championship. Season 7 was held June 20th through July 18th. The Championship was held on July 21st. Players needed 15 qualifier points which were awarded for high finishes in Magic Online events to play in the Championship. 638 players battled it out in Avacyn Restored Seal Deck. The top 8 players were Megaphone, 1st place after Swiss with a 10-1 record. Prolipsis 9, 2nd place after Swiss, 10-1. 3rd place after Swiss at 10-1 was The Great Dustini. Ding Leong at 10-1 finished 4th after Swiss. Rounding out the 10 and 1s was Monstrous Growth in 5th place. Johnny Hot Sauce, 6th place after Swiss at 9 and 2. At 7th place after Swiss, Swishenzug at 9 and 2. And in 8th place at 9 and 2, Ash and I. The players would then draft Avison Restored to compete in the 8 player single elimination tournament to declare the champion. Ash and I drafted a blue-green tempo deck. Johnny Hostas drafted a white-green mid-range deck. Ding Leong managed to be the only player drafted in black at the entire table. Swish and Zug was the second white-green mid-range drafter at the table. Blue-red humans was the aggro deck of choice for Megaphone. While Prolipsis 9 went a more controlling route with this blue-red deck. The Great Dustini drafted Red White Beatdown. And last but not least, Monstrous Growth had the second Blue Green Tempo deck. Quarterfinals Johnny Hot Sauce vs. The Great Dustini. Game 1, Johnny Hot Sauce quickly outclassed the Great Dustini's smaller creatures, but Bonfire of the Damned helped even the board. Unfortunately, the Great Dustini didn't have much of a follow-up, and Johnny Hot Sauce took Game 1 with an Angelic Air Force. In Game 2, the Great Dustini's fast start was halted by Johnny Hot Sauce's pair of Angelic Walls. But just as Johnny Hot Sauce began to mount an offense, a miracled bonfire of the damned cleared the path to victory for the Great Dustini. In Game 3, the Great Dustini got off to a very slow start, which played right into Johnny Hot Sauce's game plan. With a healthy life total on turns 6 and 7, Archangel and Voice of the Provinces propelled Johnny Hot Sauce into the semifinals. Swish and Zug vs. Prolipsis 9 Prolipsis 9 only saw mountains for most of Game 1, as a turn 4 Riders of Gavany played both offense and defense for Swish and Zug. An island came a bit too late for Prolepsis 9, and Swish and Zug took Game 1. Prolepsis 9's Mana Woes carried on to Game 2. Two islands weren't nearly enough to defend against Swish and Zug's Wildwood Geist and Gold Knight Redeemer. Swish and Zug moved on to the semifinals. Ding Leong vs. Monstrous Growth Game 1, a slow start from Monstrous Growth, gave Ding Leong plenty of time to resolve Demonic Rising. Monstrous Growth got rid of the first demon token with a Miss Raven, but the second 5 5 flyer sealed the game for Ding Leong. In game 2, Monstrous Growth combined Triumph of Ferocity with a Nettle Swine to generate card advantage, but that didn't discourage Ding Leong as a couple of Soul Cage Fiends and an Air Army quickly won the race. Ashenai vs. Megaphone. Game 1, Megaphone hit the gates hard with Scalding Devils and Fervent Cathar. Ash and I tried to mount a defense with the Narstat Scrapper, but didn't really have much of a chance against Megaphone's Miss Raven and Into the Void. Megaphone took the first game. Game 2, both players kept pace with each other by trading blows and dwindling each other's life totals. Megaphone made a risky attack to set up a win with Scalding Devils, but Joint Assault from Ash and I stole Game 2 with a surprise lethal blow. Game 3, both players assembled impressive two-card combo threats. Heirs of Stromkirk and Tandem Lookout for Megaphone, Wandering Wolf and Timberland Guide for Ash and I. Megaphone looked poised to win the race, but terrifying presence gave Ash and I the extra attack needed to make it to the semifinals. Semifinals 
Ding Liang versus Ash and I. Ash and I have been on the ropes most of game one, fending off Ding Liang's soul cage fiends. But once Ash and I was able to stabilize, Marlbats finished the job for Ding Liang. Ash and I and Ding Liang were in a battle of attrition for most of game two. Blood Artist and Driver of the Dead helped Ding Liang pull away while Demonic Ryzen put the nail in Ash and I's coffin. Ding Liang went on to the finals. Johnny Hot Sauce vs. Swish and Zug A quick start from Johnny Hot Sauce dropped Swish and Zug to a low life total early in game one. Swish and Zug was able to stabilize the board, but that was broken open by Uvenwall Trackers to win the game for Johnny Hot Sauce. Game 2, Uvenwall Tracker looked to wreak havoc for Johnny Hot Sauce again, but a Wolfville Silverheart paired with a Wildwood Geist was able to keep things under control for Swish and Zug. Nevertheless, Johnny Hot Sauce was able to win the race with some clever combat tricks. Johnny Hot Sauce was on to the finals. And that brings us to the finals of the Magic Online Championship Series Season 7 Championship. Johnny Hot Sauce vs. Ding Liang. Johnny Hot Sauce won the role and played first. Ding Liang had the first action with Appetite for Brains. Looks like it whiffed. No brains over here, says Johnny Hot Sauce. Butcher Ghoul from Ding Liang. That was met by a Gloom Widow. No third land for Ding Liang, but he has Blood Artist. Seraph of Dawn from Johnny Hot Sauce could run away with this game if left unchecked. Bone Splitters is the perfect answer, especially with having a Butchered Ghoul to sacrifice and a Blood Artist in play for the extra 4 point life swing. No fifth land for Johnny Hot Sauce, but some fancy Emancipation Angel trickery lets him play Timberland Guide as well. A 4 4 Angel might be too much for Ding Liang to handle with only 2 land. Defang on a Soul Cage Fiend allows the Gloom Widow to keep swinging without fear of a trade. Oh man, Uvenwall Tracker. This looks very good for Johnny Hot Sauce right now. Ding Liang has a fourth land and an undead executioner to come down. This may be a little too late. Yeah, Uvenwall Trackers is going to take over this game. Looks like Ding Liang has seen enough. Johnny Hot Sauce wins game one. Ding Liang is on to play this game. Crypt Keeper for Ding Liang. Met by Timberland Guide for Johnny Hot Sauce. Office to trade. And Johnny Hot Sauce accepts. Soul Cage Fiend comes down for Ding Liang. Turn 3 Farbog Explorers from Johnny Hot Sauce. There are two of those in Johnny Hot Sauce's deck. Swap Wap could be an issue for Ding Liang. Another Soul Cage Fiend for Ding Liang. Seraph of Dawn is a perfect answer for these Soul Cage Fiends. Ding Liang attacks with both Fiends. Death Wind for one shrinks to Seraph. And Human Frailty takes out the Explorer. Emancipation Angel and Angelic Wall come down for Johnny Hot Sauce to halt the aggression. Both Soul Cage Fiends get in there. Two blocks and a trade happens with the Fiend and the Angel. Both players lose three life and the driver of the day hits the battlefield. But Holy Just This Year may have something to say about that. Ding Leon keeps the pressure on and follows it up with a Searchlight Geist. Layer Dive finds the Moreland Inquisitor and Moreland. Johnny Hot Sauce doesn't have the mana to use Holy Justicia this turn, so a Thriving Valiant is going to trade with the creature, Crypt Keeper, and a second Searchlight Geist. Voice of the Provinces for Johnny Hot Sauce. A 4 4 body and a 1 1 token. This is the card Johnny Hot Sauce needed. Ding Liang attacks with everything, and we see a trade with the Angel and the Geist. Moreland Inquisitor, first strike, can be useful. And Cathedral Sanctifier, the three points of life game may be enough breather room to take out the Soul Cage Fiend without fear. Johnny Hasa stabilizes with his life at five. The Justicier has a handle on the Geist, and oh, there's a Demonic Rising. A 5 5 flying demon when your opponent is at five life seems like a pretty good idea. Defang, the perfect answer, keeps Ding Liang above one creature. Johnny Hasa is turning the tables. Blood Artist is going to give Ding Liang some reach here to take out the last 5 life points. Well, 3 life points. Wow, no block for on the Searchlight Geist. But this Tapper slash Swamp Walker combo is going to do a good job of getting around the Blood Artist. Geist gets in again and the wall steps in the way. Death Touch kills the wall and Johnny goes to 2. Johnny Hot Sauce is trying to kill Ding Liang before Blood Artist finishes him off. 
That is a lethal soul cage fiend from Ding Liang. If that guy dies, we're gonna see a game three. The fang keeps the geist at bay. Oh wow, bone splinter, sacrificing the demon token, targeting searchlight geist? Well, the two points of life love will kill Johnny Hot Sauce. But a clutch cloud shift, oh my, on the cathedral sanctifier, keeps Johnny Hot Sauce alive. Wow, Ding Leong didn't expect that to be Johnny Hot Sauce's last card, or I'm sure the Soul Cage Fiend would have been involved in that Bone Splitters one way or another. I think this is going to be it. And we have a champion. Congratulations to Johnny Hot Sauce, Season 7 Champion. Now, if you'd like to see more coverage from this or any other Magic Online tournament, visit www.mtgonline.com. Thanks for watching the Magic Online Championship Series recap with me, Rashad Miller, and I'll see you next time for Season 8.